narrow down the list of potential planets. 5.16 now, good morning, it's 38 degrees. Let's get an update on our forecast. Here's Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Santini. Good morning. Good morning. Always fun when we do have dry and clear skies to kind of think about what you could see in the night or early morning. Well, this week we actually have a meteor shower peaking. It's not one of the most active meteor showers for us. It is known as the Draconid meteor shower, and it peaks around October 7th, but it is active pretty much October 6th through the 10th. So because we don't have a whole lot of cloud cover to talk about this week, it's a good opportunity to get outside with the family. So this meteor shower is interesting. Typically, we want to look for meteors overnight into the early morning. Instead, this one you want to get outside right at nightfall. So it gets dark in the Miami Valley around 8 o'clock. That's when you'll want to head outside and you'll look to the northwestern sky. You can look up pretty high in the sky actually. The radiant point for this meteor shower is uh, Drake Moon the Dragon. So that constellation will help guide you in the northwestern sky to possibly see a few shooting stars this week. So don't be surprised if you notice that. We will have mainly clear skies pretty much every night this week as well, so a good opportunity for you to get out and enjoy this week meteor shower as we head through the rest of your work week. Early this morning, if you do head outside, you will want to bundle up. You can see that fog getting a little thicker here in Greenville. We don't have a whole lot of a breeze blowing. Our wind is very, very uh, light out of the west right now. We're at 38 degrees at the airport, but we do have cities in the northern Miami Valley even colder than that. So for the early morning, your commute forecast is going to be impacted by fog and some frost, depending on if you parked outside, but the evening drive does look good for you. And our visibility map goes to Salina, has some reduced visibility this morning. Uh, Bell's Fountain down below a mile, we're seeing a little fog in Urbana, and then you can see right near uh, parts of southern Preble County, southern Montgomery, and uh, northern Warren, there's a couple of little areas of fog there as well. So that's what we're going to have to track this morning. Temperature-wise, it's only 36 right now in Greenville. We're at 34 degrees in Salina, 35 in Richmond and even Xenia is only at 37 so it is a chilly start no matter where you are and you can see on satellite and radar where some of those low clouds and a little fog is starting to develop so that's what we'll have kind of patchy across the Miami Valley for the early morning. Live out for 7 radar, though, we're not tracking any rain. We did have some showers over the weekend. Now, as we head through the work week, we have a dry stretch of days that we are going to collect. We're going to hit 61 today in Springfield. We'll be around 58 in Bell Fountain in Urbana, 62 degrees in Kettering. So, temperature-wise, we are cooler than normal. But look at our future cast for the morning. It does pick up on the low clouds and fog early, especially across the eastern half of the Miami Valley. But once we get towards lunch, we will start to see that sun shine move turn. So you'll get a sunnier sky today, which will help to make it feel more comfortable. Tomorrow as well is going to be a mostly sunny afternoon. Here's one o'clock on Tuesday. Nice and bright, but Tuesday will be a little breezy. For us tonight, we're down to 42 in Dayton, but again, we'll probably have some cities tomorrow morning that reach into the upper 30s. And then tomorrow, right back up to 70. It'll be a breezy day on Tuesday, but that's actually close to normal there being around 70 degrees. Our five-day forecast does show we keep warming up for the middle of the week. Wednesday looks great. We'll be around 76. The worst part about Wednesday will be the wind, and I'll talk about how strong those wind gusts could get coming up in just a few minutes. Let's check in with Sarge. A couple of issues for you to watch out for. <clears throat> there is a a working structure fire in on Airway Road. I've just checked uh, with the dispatch. It sounds like it's the 4400 block of Airway Road uh, residence there. It's just about a block east of Smithville Road between Smithville and Woodman, but there is a large fire response on scene there, uh, and uh, there's a good chance they could have lanes blocked there, if not the whole road of Airway Road. Uh, they've asked for a response from the utility company as well. So, again, that's Airway Road east of Smithville, between Smithville and Woodman that we have a situation. There's also a crash on Route 35 at James McGee Boulevard in the city of Dayton. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowen, WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 521 now, 38 degrees. New research on the effectiveness of the flu vaccine. Why experts say the shot is critical for children to help prevent severe illness.